Joe Hughes with Merritt Becker of uh, Kinetic. Tell me again. Cross Point Kinetics. Cross Point Kinetics. Based Sorry, out of Indianapolis, uh, yeah. Right here in River City, Indianapolis. Right. Right. So that's great. But uh, this is a really exciting product. You and I were chatting for a minute, but I really want you to share with uh, my associates in the in the country what, what you guys are up to. Tell me about tell me about this. You got it, Joe. Thank you for one, the opportunity to talk to your, your, your readers and, and the entire Ford family. Right. Um, I know you come from Northside uh, Ford and, and that's a wonderful group out there. So, Good people. Uh, great folks and I know them from the Power Stroke days. So. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But the Crosspoint Kinetics is, is a hybrid system and it's a post-transmission uh, hybrid system and, it's, and we call them a, a launch assistance. And what's unique about this system is that we've looked at all the early generation hybrids mm -hmm. and said there are some real shortcomings, uh, either through interfaces with the vehicle, um, how they deploy the power, how they, uh, they simplify the installation, do they use batteries, et cetera, and said, Let's, there's got to be another way to do it. So we've, we found a company in, in Fort Wayne, Indiana called Variable Torque Motors that had a unique design. And we brought it into Cummins Crosspoint and then formed Crosspoint Kinetics. So we are a division of Crosspoint Kinetics, which has an affiliation with Cummins. I see. And mm -hmm. we, we said, there's got to be a better way. So what we did, we created this hybrid that fits on a class three, four, uh, all the way up to really a small seven, a vehicle wow. designed for package and delivery, transit, shuttle, paratransit bus applications, mm -hmm. lots of starts and stops. Lots of slow uh, miles per hour uh, uh, routes. Sure. And it's really about generating electricity or taking the kinetic energy that's, that's created by the vehicle by moving in motion and capturing that and turning it into electricity to push it back into the, uh, the drivetrain. Right. Wow. So we put uh, almost 400 foot pounds of torque back right on the drive line, uh, And that thus means the engine up front which does it, it could be a gas engine, a diesel engine, natural gas, squirrels, whatever's, whatever rubber band you have up front, um, you're gonna get some efficiency uh, because you don't have to use that engine as, sure. as much. Right. Yeah. So over the years of our testing, the last three years, we've, we've gone oh, nearly 9 million miles of, of vehicle testing with real customers, and we've seen results peaking above 30% miles per gallon savings reductions of 20% plus in emissions, brake life of one to two, three times uh, the normal ex extension of maintenance. Wow. They're, they're not atypical of, of all hybrid applications out there, but what's unique about us is we don't use batteries. We use ultra capacitors. Ultra capacitors are meant to give strong, loud, high bursts of energy, absorb very efficiently, uh, recharge very efficiently, and push it back out. So we'll give you 16, to 32 seconds of boost, uh, depending on how much energy you've stored in your capacitors, and it's going to be a constant um, wow. uh, horsepower over that range. So it gets the it, it gets the vehicle rolling, which is the which is. where all that fuel gets and, burned. And testing, and, and most and most of your uh, readers know and constituents know that that it's the vehicle's uh, least efficient during that first, second, right. third gear. Yeah, yeah. Once they hit about third gear, they're very efficient, they're okay, and very yeah. effective. Mm -hmm. And so we're really focused focused in that range. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's unique about our product is not only that it uses capacitors, but we have a, a patented technology where we actually trade off speed for torque. From a zero to 35 miles per hour range, we use a mechanical ball screw uh, that's right on the engine, which we'll show you here in a sec, that says, I'm going to decouple the magnetic field as the faster you go, and then automatically bring it back in when you slow down to regenerate electricity. So it's a motor generator. Uh, that's that's uniquely designed that wow. I think is going to be uh, fairly revolutionary. Yeah, it sounds like a game changer. Yeah, really it really is. is. It yeah. really is. Yeah. And we're excited about it because we looked at also the, the return on investment and the flexibility that customers need. Right, right. You got fleets out there that churn their, their buses or their or their trucks five, six, seven uh, years. Some go out to 20 uh, and yeah. some try to maximize some very customized bodies. Right. Uh, and they go, hey, I'm making this investment on a hybrid. My vehicle's gonna wear out before it does. Can I transfer it from vehicle to vehicle? Absolutely. Five points of, of integration. We don't touch any uh, after treatment. We don't touch any engine control module. We don't really integrate to where you can't just drop the, the, uh, the system out 
do a quick inspection and put it back into the next vehicle. So you can just detach and go to the next to the next. So it's, it's like the real quality bodies that are transferable for one or two vehicles. In fact, it's that's a real value. Exactly. Huge exactly. value. Yeah. yeah. And so when people ask about return on investment, they have to think, I always ask the question, is that over one platform or two or possibly even right, three? Right. And, it, and, and they go, well, I've never, nobody's ever asked whether I can transfer it. Right. But once, it, once it's paid for, it's, it's, just, it's yeah. just free, free it's gas. Free, free gas. It's free, uh, free fuel efficiency. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. awesome. So, well, so let me show you a little yeah, bit on the please. technology. So this is the, the actual brains of the, the operation. This okay. is the motor generator, and this is the, the, the system that deploys uh, some patented designs. Um, and really what it does is inside here is a, the magnets and the rotor and the stator. And we use a mechanical uh, uh, permanent mag motor here, well, the system here and here, and use a ball screw. And we literally take uh, the rotor away from the stator as you start to speed up. So the controller is constantly moving in and out this magnetic field and deploying more torque on the drive line mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, to, to where you're going to get a constant 400 foot pounds of torque up until the point you're either faster than 35 miles per hour or you've uh, exhausted all the energy that's in your capacity. Mm -hmm. So then it's just running like it normally would have. You have no parasitic load. You have right. no load on the back end. If you want to go up to 55 miles an hour, you have zero drag right. uh, that's coming from this, this magnetic system in here. Wow. That's awesome. So, yeah. It's a, a pretty unique design. Yeah. We're very proud of the inventor and the company that really brought it yeah. to fruition. And you've tested it 9 million miles? Yeah, we estimate, um, wow. given over the 160 systems that we've had, uh, between us and the other uh, 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 previous designer that we estimate there's we're probably north of nine million based wow. on, on That's great. road yeah. road work. Now so we've seen all sorts of uh, ranges of performance. Sure. Some are higher than 30 mm -hmm. uh, miles per gallon. We've seen some of zero, but it all really depends on the route right. and the driving right. style, right. Uh, right. which is typical of many hybrids, sure. including the, the, the the Ford uh, hybrids on their past cars and sure, everything else. Right, whether. right, right. So, the last oh, thing I want to yeah. share with you, Joe, if you don't mind, yeah. is uh, the the distribution network which we're using is really uh, geared towards the Ford family. Uh, not only do we put them on uh, 350, 450, 550 chassis, we can also do 650s and 750s, wow. but it's ideal for a Ford uh, a dealer or, uh, or even a Ford customer to be able to do their own installations and perform their own maintenance because we are modular. And so we, sure. we've done all the design work and the bracketry work that mm -hmm. we can be flexible based on where you want to put the motor mm -hmm. um, on a, a wheelbase uh, size vehicle or where you want to put the capacitor in the controller. Right. So well, very that's exciting. Terrific. That's terrific. I can see yes. that. So, I can see that. So well. tell, tell the Ford family that... Uh, the entire family that uh, we look forward to working with them and that's great and tell that's them great. Well, we're looking for uh, for a progress report here in the coming uh, in the coming months and year we'll come back to indianapolis when it's not snowing we'll do it we'll do it <laughs> you mean it doesn't always snow it doesn't always snow. Cool. good good to hear that <laughs> perfect thanks, thanks again Joe.